Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is all about transforming our kitchen pantry into an organized one. I realized that I was unknowingly buying duplicate items and it was scattered all over my cupboards. So it's time to organize the pantry and if your kitchen cupboards are also in need of a little love and attention, you are in the right place. So let's get started. The first step in this transformation is to declutter. I am going to take out everything from everywhere. The pantry unit, shelves above the microwave and even the ones below. After emptying everything out, it's time to clean. I am using my trusty Kent vacuum cleaner to tackle the shelves. It's handy for all my cleaning tasks. With the shelves vacuumed, I am cleaning the cupboards and shelves to make sure everything is spotless. Now it's time to check for expired items. As I was going through the items, I noticed a pattern, buying the same items without realizing they were already there. Discarding expired items is essential for a fresh start. The first step in organizing our Indian pantry is to embrace the spices. For storing spices, I am using these round glass jars and labeling them for easy access. I have placed these on the shelf near the hob area for easy access during cooking. Before we dive into the organizational magic, let's talk about a small but impactful change. How we handle packets. By cutting and opening them in a specific way, we can reduce the generation of microplastics contributing to a more sustainable kitchen. It's a small change that makes a big difference in reducing kitchen waste. I'm dividing my pantry into zones. Lentils, flowers, cereals, snacks and more. And to keep things uniform, I'm using similar containers within each zone for a cohesive and visually pleasing look. I opted to use rectangle glass jars for cereals like oats, muesli, cornflakes and round glass jars for lentils and pulses. Adding bay leaves inside the container will keep insects away. For storing numkins, I am reusing these Nutella jars. Let's get creative with our storage solutions. I am using a tall box to elegantly store biscuit packets and guess what, I got it for free along with a boost pack. Another innovative use is this box that originally came with aerial detergent, now repurposed to hold open packets of grocery items. I also made the list of items which is stored inside and writing down the contents on the top ensures easy access. So the top two shelves are dedicated for biscuits, snacks and namkins. This shelf is for lentils and pulses. This one is for breakfast items. And the bottom shelf is dedicated for cereals. Rice, flour and other staples deserve a special place too. This kitchen cupboard is dedicated to store rice, atta and other regularly used items. I am arranging them in this cupboard for easy access. This IKEA rice box with wheels is a game changer for convenience. Utilizing the pull out drawers in my kitchen, I am storing items in these transparent containers which is bought from IKEA. This way it's easy to see what's inside.
repurposing cardboard boxes to section out and group items which otherwise gets mixed up. Let's talk about strategic grocery planning. These drawers now serve as a dedicated space for grocery items before they make their way into jars. A quick glance here before heading out for grocery shopping ensures we only buy what we truly need. I have this old steel plate and now we are going to turn this plain plate into a rotating hero for our sauces and vinegar. I am going to keep this on the shelf above the hob area and our easy peasy DIY lazy susan is ready. I also kept ghee bottle next to this for easy access. Oil bottles are kept on this shelf for easy access while cooking. It's a final touch to creating a kitchen that's not just organized but also functional. That's it for today's video and I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more home organization content. I'll see you soon with another video. You guys stay safe and stay happy. Bye.